Hello, Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, No. This is a reading for you and someone in your environment. It doesn't have to be love. And the dynamic in between for the next two weeks. Let's see. Matter of importance for Capricorn placements. Compassion is popping out. I feel like I'm going to put this back here. Okay. There's someone in your environment. This feels a lot like your last reading or like two readings ago. There's someone in your environment that you may have like some drama or like a disagreement with. Okay. This is someone who's trying to show you that they're serious or that they understand you. This is someone who's trying to show you that they care during this time. All right. I see some healing energy attempting to come in there. It could be a water sign. What I was seeing. See more energy nobility. Courtesy. So you've been going through some upgrades since a loss in your life or since an ending in your life. It's like you're finally starting to see the light or like you're finally starting to move up energetically. People are noticing. Your cars keep bouncing or jumping out. Yeah, see? So the call of the night is coming in and nobility again. Is that also there? Yeah. Okay. You may have had to make like a difficult sacrifice in your life or something was, again, something exited. It was quite painful. You felt like you were being punished or like, why is the universe punishing me? Or this is somebody else. But we have nobility here. Okay. It says honor, high standards and idealistic, which is lovely. We also have the call of the night, daring adventure and excitement. New vibes are coming in. There's going to be an uptick in energy and energy around you. Okay. You're going to be seeing yourself in a good light here, Capricorn. It's like there's something about being proud, being seen. That's very important during this time. Let me see. Where is Capricorn in this energy? I'm hearing Sagittarius. Where's Capricorn in this energy? Show me Cap in this vibe. What is this? The Hermit. I'm capping this vibe. The lovers. The world. Dang. I told you. So you reached a point in life right now where you're hitting the highest caliber of whatever it is that you're in. This energy is completion. It's excellence. And that's what you're in, which is why you have nobility and the call of night. You've mastered something, okay? The universe is saying that they realize that you've mastered your energy. It's time for you to close something out and to start a new learning process or something new is coming in for you here. Okay, so this is the metamorphosis that you went through. It's like you finally mastered it. You've mastered yourself. That's, that's crazy. Okay, let's see the situation. Wow. Okay, the situation is a Queen of Cups and the Fool card. Yeah, it's a brand new beginning coming in. Okay, let's see the person. Whoever this is, you guys have shared a lot of love. Whoever's coming into your energy, a lot of compassion, what have you. Who's the person in, in Capricorn's reading? The Chariot, it's a Cancer. You have a Cancer coming in, okay? You may have disconnected from this individual or you haven't heard from them in a while, or you haven't been talking to them as much as usual. This is somebody who feels like you kind of threw your hands up to them, or you're just like, yeah, I'm good. Something like this is going on, okay? This is somebody who feels like maybe you've been ignoring them or you blocked them. They're specifically saying blocked, okay? I feel like you've just reached a new caliber of life right now. Let's see what's going on. Full card, please. This is someone who doesn't know how to access you or get closer to you right now. Whatever they've tried in the past has not worked. In fact, it kicked them back further. Let me see this full card, please. They're trying to let bygones be bygones with you. Yeah, okay, so the star is here. There you are. Okay, you're coming in five of pentacles, this chariot energy again in the eight of cups. Yeah. All right. 
This is someone who is a little bit frustrated coming into your reading right now, Capricorn, okay? In the next two weeks, they, they feel like you kind of just let things go or things kind of have just slid off or you fell off the face of the earth, according to them. They feel like you're acting real distant. Maybe you're not even speaking to them. This is like ignoring energy. They feel like you're kind of ignoring. I do see that they've been trying to somehow access you, contact you, get you to respond somehow to, I'm hearing usurp the throne. That's really interesting. Maybe they feel like, I don't know, you're on a throne or someone is on a throne here and they want to they wanna conquer that, okay? But they're hitting a dead end with you. This is someone who's feeling like um, because of the troubles with you and them here, it's difficult for them to access you or to hit that next level with you. So if someone is losing interest here. Um, I feel this is more of a frustration from their side. Yeah. They want something to happen. They want movement. They want a plan. And they feel like they're not part of it. Does that make sense? Let me see this world card. What is this world for Cap? Show me Capricorn. I feel like this is someone on the other side of the world or they feel this way. Okay. Isn't this your seventh house? Yeah, this is like North Node and South Node energy. It's like you're trying to move into a North Node energy. So like you're trying to move into a future space and someone from the South is like pulling you in. Maybe that means something more literal than I imagine. So you feel bad here for this person or you feel bad about the situation. Okay, Capricorn, or you have. It's like you can't stop thinking about your family during this time, or you have some family troubles that you're trying to manage or deal with. You're concerned about family, your home life, your happiness here. There's something about you and this person that you may feel doesn't fit in that same mold that you env envision your future in. I feel like you feel bad about this or you feel almost like guilty because it's like you've racked your brain on how to make the situation happy or how to make it work because I feel like you genuinely have cared for someone or you do care for people here, but it's like you keep hitting like a... a a wall with this. It's like you try to figure out how things can work, how to make each other happy, or if you will be happy. And it's like you don't see a way out right now with the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords here, okay? I feel like you feel bad about that. Um, maybe you're worried about someone else's living situation, someone else's home life, someone else's family, even what else is here? It, the, the truth is hurtful to you. So, you kind of wish that you didn't feel or think this way, basically, but you do. So the so the Page of Swords is here. Yeah, the Star card, the Sun. Yeah, it's like you wish you could be happy. There's something in your life right now that you're trying to work on. Okay, it's like you've hit a peak here, or you will be, but it's like you're trying to perfect. I don't know your image, or you're trying to perfect your work life, your home life. There's something here that's really important to you. And this is what you're definitely working on. You're definitely looking forward to, but it means that you're kind of separating yourself from other energies. And something about that is a little bit painful. It could be this person even, okay? It's like there's distance and space between you and your family, or you haven't seen your family in some time, or you haven't felt happy in some time, you haven't felt proud in some time, and you're making those adjustments here. It will lighten up here, Capricorn. I just wanna tell you, this is lightening up. I don't know, but like, it's almost like you're kicking yourself about something, or you just feel bad and, Maybe you feel like you you shouldn't have to always jump and help people or there's something about you feeling like you shouldn't have to, I don't know, like you want someone to be more self-reliant at times or something like this. It's like a, it's like a tough lesson kind of energy is what you're referring to. Let me see this person with the chariot. Show me this energy, this person. Three of wands. It's almost like, yeah, it hurts, but I have to. This is the vibe that you're coming up. 
Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. So you can't imagine this person being happy in this situation. Or you're, you feel guilty about how this is playing out or like you're worried about someone, okay? They're looking forward to a new beginning with you here. The thing is, maybe you're worried to tell them that you don't see things the same or like you're not happy. So you ignore them instead or something like that. So you may have been like not talking to someone, but you still worry quite a bit about them or you're concerned about their happiness, which in turn is affecting your happiness. It's like you're starting to miss like the family vibe or like your happiness, just period. Something is bothering you. Let me see how you guys see each other. Let me see. This person sees Capricorn how? They're looking forward. It's like they're optimistic about things working out here, okay? Or it's like they're trying to find that silver lining with you because they have this Ace of Cups here with you. But I feel like, I don't know if you feel guilty, like I can't accept that or I don't wanna talk or something like that. Okay, let me see this person. Person sees you how? In the world card. So you're distant from them. Maybe you're far away from them and they want more closeness. Maybe this is physically, emotionally, mentally, whatever the case, they're, they're saying that you're far away, you're acting different, you're new, or you're just separate. You're acting separate, okay? So the six of swords, the death and the moon. Some of you guys could be worried about like your safety or someone's safety. They could be aware of this. You could be kind of closing yourself off because of safety or like you're in a foreign area or a foreign land. Someone is, and there's something about, this is a, this is a very side note here. And someone is not safe. Okay. I'm seeing something about like a safe haven or like a shelter, like shelter in place kind of energy. So maybe there was some sort of like disaster in your area or someone's or you're concerned about that happening to somebody. Huh. Star card. Yeah, this person feels like you're avoiding them or like they feel like you're not talking to them for a specific reason that maybe you haven't been completely honest with them about. Which would be, I mean, from seeing the way this looks, it would be kind of accurate. There's something that you could be thinking or holding on to that you don't want them, you don't want to burden them with it or like you don't want to lay your worries down on somebody else's shoulders here. It's like you're carrying the weight of like a, like a bad feeling or like what you're thinking about, about why things will not work or some sort of negative thought process here about not being happy or something not working out. And you may not be telling them that completely. I feel like they know this, okay? It's like they feel like you're acting so mysterious and so quiet and like you're leaving them in the dark about things you don't want to reconcile, but they're still hopeful. It's like they're trying to give time and space or whatever this is, okay? Huh. Some of you guys, you've... Yeah, that's just it. Okay, this person seeing... Um, has Capricorn see this person? How does Capricorn see this person, please? This chariot person. The eight of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. So you feel, is this, is this somebody working on a new lifestyle or a new life here, okay? You feel like this person is keeping busy or they need to keep busy working on their craft or perfecting their income here. How do you see this person? Maybe this is like a handy person or someone who works with their hands, someone who creates maybe art or something with the hands here. So you see this person with the three of swords. Ooh. All right, wow, temperance. 
you feel like this is someone who has been through a lot or is currently going through a lot maybe this is the why you're you're concerned okay there's someone here that you're worried about but you you you're associating a lot of pains and heartbreak with this person whether it's you both feeling it or this person's just feeling lots of disappointments lots of heartaches lots of pain lots of i don't know triangulation something like this is going on and you feel like this is someone who's kind of been through quite a lot and it's like you're seeing them try to work on things or they have a lot of like maybe burdens or traumas or they have a lot of work to do and they're they're doing it all on their own and this is someone who's really hanging in there through thick and thin to try and fix their situation or a situation with you and definitely in this space of healing and i could see why that looks difficult okay i do you're associating a lot of pains here and a lot of like this is someone who's definitely trying to hang in there even if like let's say you broke up with them and you ended it or even if you said i can't help you anymore or even if you said you know we've been through too much here you feel like this person is like relentlessly trying to fix it or keep their head in the game or keep doing it here okay they keep yeah they keep wanting to heal something you feel this person just really has a soft spot wow okay oh my goodness all right next two weeks quickly between these two and then we'll throw advice guidance each next two weeks between these two all right ten of pentacles okay there's an idea coming in that people are thinking about all right could be a, a money idea, a business idea, or just an idea to even talk to this person and switch the dynamic up. It is coming in. There's an opportunity to communicate with this person. King of Swords, Four of Pentacles. There's a lot of spying going on as well. The Temperance, yeah. Someone is attempting to talk and the other person is kind of like a brick wall or not really opening up here. All right. We have Sagittarius energy and air sign Aquarius here. Someone's attempting to speak about something because they feel hopeful or they want to change it up and the other person's just uh, holding it in or not saying exactly what needs to be said or just being real kind of like strict or less emotional okay maybe you feel bad because you're reaching like a pivotal point in your life here capricorn like you're achieving things you know like you're doing things and you feel like maybe somebody's being left behind or you have some type of guilt about that some of you i'm hearing survivor's guilt all right huh okay vice guidance for partner be the person in Capricorn's reading. Okay, there that again. Temperance popping out. Here you are. So this is the person who's trying to communicate with you. Okay. Oh man, you're not going to, unfortunately, in the next two weeks, partner B, I don't feel like you're going to make a lot of progress with the communication, especially, or if you're trying to figure something out with um, Capricorn, okay, not in the next two weeks, it feels like there's still a lot of stuffiness or a lot of holding back, still a lot of curiosity to, maybe you're trying to figure out, you know, why this person's acting a certain way or why you don't have full transparency on a situation but it's kind of getting to you here okay there's a need to i don't know find some sort of peace throughout or with this temperance energy it's like not right now for some reason it's like you know you got a blockage here even if you do end up speaking or talking or what have you, it's almost like you don't have all the answers you want or you need. There's something unfulfilling, unfortunately. 
Judgment is here. The Three of Cups. The Page of Cups. Yeah. See, there's a stalemate. Um, I see that you will have some friends around you or some family around you that you can talk to, get back in contact with, maybe join some groups or what have you. There's some su supportive energy here, but it's kind of like a stalemate when it comes to you and Capricorn. Um, and it's almost like saying, don't put that your main focus. Okay. Something like that. I hope that makes sense. Advice guidance for Capricorn during this time. The temperance. Man, you have a lot of mental turmoil going on. Ooh, Capricorn, we saw this for you. Okay. You don't need to feel pressured to make a choice, okay? Sometimes other people's feelings are not our complete and total responsibility, if that's you, okay? This is almost like be smart, okay? If you don't want to be involved in a situation that doesn't make sense to you, you don't have to. But you also may be being very hard on yourself because of this, okay, from what I'm seeing. Because it's almost like you're not ready to make a choice or you're not ready to talk or you're not ready to something or other for someone else. And it's got you feeling like in the dumps, you know, like you're feeling bad or guilty or whatever this is for choosing yourself or for, for winning or for doing something for yourself here. All right, is what I'm seeing. What else is here? The Three of Cups, the Moon, mm, Strength. Yeah, I feel like you're really in your head about this, this Cancer person or this, this Water Sign person, whoever this is. It looks like a heavy Cancer energy. They may have a Leo placement. You also have Scorpio Pisces here too, but it looks like a Cancer. I mean, what have you. You really need to get a hold on that feeling of like confusion. Oh man. The reason I say that is because it looks, looks, it's easier to say that, you know what I mean? Like it's easier to say, oh yeah, you know? But it's like you keep, I don't know if you're deluded with this person or if like you keep, you really need to clear your head basically any way you can from your situation here, okay? It's likely that there's a conversation you're not ready to have or there's a feeling that you don't want to be involved in here and it's got you feeling, yeah. You feel bad for someone. Okay, that's what it is. I love you so very much, Capricorn. Feel free to check previous and future reads for more or different information. Friends, family members, neighbors, coworkers, Peep and Tom, Peep and Tony down the street. Check their placements too so we know what they're up to. Kisses. Love you. Bye.